Winds of change, they call my name and beckon come just like a moth to a flame. Hi folks, Rich here from Diabetic Bushcrafting. Got a couple of things to show you. We just recently did the uh, look at my 20 year old fanny pack survival kit. Well, one thing you wouldn't know probably is that Jeff, his grandfather, used to own a uh, drugstore many, many years ago. And some of the stuff that when they were clearing it out, Jeff found. <clears throat> couple of them I get the privilege of sharing with you. Now, I'm going to do some research on it, but I haven't had a chance to look through this yet. Very old first aid kit. You know, I'm going to learn from my last one. Okay, hopefully that wasn't gone too long. For you, I know it wasn't. <clears throat> okay, what does it say? <clears throat> First aid kit, safety service, um, Davis Emergency Equipment Company, Newark, New Jersey, USA. Now that tells me something. When it tells you that it's USA, that makes me think we're talking like World War II type thing. So, doesn't look drab olive, but hangs and stuff. Does make me think that this could have been military, possibly. All right, I'm set this on the table. Refocus the camera down here. So you can see what I see. <clears throat> okay. There's a perspective that I'm going to turn it this way. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what you would see if you were to have looked at it. In, in everyday use. So over here, I'm going to turn the camera the other way around real quick. I'm going to flip that for you. There's a man on the wall, and this thing would flip down. This would be like a table. So while in this point it looks upside down, this is the way it would look to you when you were using it. But the other things are there. And down here you'd be able to read what it said. So let's see what's in here, shall we? <coughs> At least the boxes. Two-inch bandage compresses, one-inch adhesive bandages, iodine swabs, four-inch bandage, one-inch adhesive bandage, two-inch adhesive bandage, ammonia inhalant. So we got smelling salts, blunt forces, and tourniquet. Yeah, look at that. One-inch and tenoid. 
the burns. Look at that. And there's, looks like there's something back in there. I'll have to see. And some gauze. First aid kit, safety services, Davis Company, Newark, New Jersey, USA. <clears throat> Army tourniquet, look at this. So this is an army issue. Not that I didn't know. I'll have to see what I can find about this company. When I find something, I'll post, you know, I'll do that research. But I'm going to do this all in live time. <clears throat> Not that we're broadcasting live, but in one take is I do it. And so when I find something, whatever I can find, I'll put it in, you'll see it across here. military doesn't it? So. I'm going to go ahead and grab this phone so I can get a good close-up <coughs> of what we're looking at. Careful, I don't know where they are. Davis Emergency Equipment Company Inc. Two inch bandage compress, four per unit. Only gonna take a couple at a time. So here's instructions for use. Um, one inch adhesive bandage. The unit ID number really screams military, doesn't it? I'm going to have to look up the year of this. something in here. It's a roll of gauze. Iodine swabs. Pretty cool. Four inch bandage with instructions. I'm 
one edge adhesive bandage. Two inch adhesive bandage compress. Ammonia inhales. Smelling salts essentially. Blunt for blood forceps and tourniquet. So that's kind of cool. And one final thing. It looks too good. Tanoid for burns. Must have leaked because all the damage I see in the box <clears throat> is at that end. But I will research this. Find out what I can about how old it is. And when I post this video, it'll be shown in there, so you'll be seeing how old this thing is. So, <clears throat> so once again, Rich here, telling you to get up, get out, get in the woods, and I hope to see you there. Bye guys, hope you enjoyed Jeff's little first aid kit from World War II, Korea, we'll find out, 40s, 50s, bye folks.